This video is sponsored by Imprint. Water your mind with daily learning habits. Imagine this, a spider as big as your hand, faster than you'd believe, and lurking closer than you'd think right now. Australia's huntsman spiders are monsters in plain sight, giant arachnids that can move like ghosts. But why are they so big? And how can something that massive just vanish during the day? Where do they go? If you're living in Australia, you're never really alone. I'm Spencer Hoffman, a biologist and filmmaker from North Carolina, and I'm on a mission to find out how a spider so enormous can disappear into thin air. It's the kind of story you tell around a campfire, an unassuming neighborhood where everything is normal until it isn't. In daylight, you hear the kids playing in the street, the hustle and bustle of cars passing through, songs of birds filling the air. But when night falls, there are slender, ghostly figures that emerge from the shadows, eldritch things that make your hair stand on end. In these sorts of stories, you never see the monsters, and it's your own imagination that terrifies you. In my search for nature's strangest predators, I've found something potentially even more unnerving than these campfire ghosts, because this one is real, and you can definitely see it with your own eyes. In Australia, hiding in plain sight lives a giant spider with legs longer than your hand and reflexes faster than your eyes the Huntsman Spider. Australia is known for its massive spiders. I see it in the comments all the time. Every time I work with large wolf spiders back in the US, I'm teased with the opportunity to come to the land down under to see the giants that are lurking just outside people's houses. I've come all the way to Australia to hunt down some of its deadliest wildlife. But while I'm here, I figured I'd see these massive arachnids for myself. And it turns out it's not just the huntsmen who are huge. There are other large spiders lurking nearer than you'd think, and sometimes even within your walls. Probably one of the more intimidating spiders you might come across are these guys, the black house spider. The females get huge, just like this one. And because they're building these messy funnel-like retreats inside your house, they can get confused with the really deadly funnel web spider. We're pretty sure before they moved in with people, these house spiders like to live inside of bark. They like to be tucked away in hidden crevices. You can even see right here that she's more comfortable when my hand is shading her from the sun. These females will spend almost their entire lives in the same web. And as a result, many of their webs can even look abandoned. Now the nice thing about them is they are venomous and they can give a pretty painful bite. But as you can see right here, they're really more of a curious spider very inoffensive, and they're actually happy to clean up cockroaches and other household pests more than they actually want to stand and fight. My first big Australian spider. But before you go to the comments and light me up for how you've seen bigger, trust me, I know that there are real monsters lurking out there. But in order to find them, we'll be heading out after dark, a nighttime hunt in the land down under, in search of some of the world's largest arachnids. My adventures sometimes take me quite a ways from my actual backyard, so I have to stay on my toes and keep my mind sharp. And my friends at Imprint help me do exactly that. Just like how I'm in a brand new place, there's a whole new year coming right at us. And Imprint has a host of courses and lessons that will make starting 2025 the smart way fun and memorable. When I'm searching for some of the world's most dangerous or at least frightening creatures, it takes more than just biological knowledge to make sure I'm successful. Imprint has lessons in philosophy and psychology that help me keep my cool under pressure. Whether I'm working with the deadliest snakes in the world or freaky giant spiders, it helps to water my mind with knowledge that fortifies my nerves for the wild things that lurk beyond our doors. If you're like me, you probably like discovering yourself just as much as you like discovering the secrets of the natural world. This year, I challenge you to see just just how much your mind can grow if you spend a few minutes a day building learning habits with Imprint. Using the link in the description below, you'll get 20% off their annual subscription and you'll be supporting a brand that helps make this channel possible. Try Imprint today. To find a giant spider, you'd think we'd have to travel deep into the jungles of some exotic location. But we're in Australia. They're theoretically everywhere. 
and one of my friends who I'm traveling with knows a trail that has some huge ones. As darkness fell, we worked our way down a hiking trail that followed a large pipe deep into the woods. And if you think this looks straight out of a horror film, the creatures that lurked just off the side of the trail fit right in. Callum spotted this from the bridge. Try to get it out of the water here, because that's gonna... Look at that thing. That's not right. Look at that. I see crayfish back home. Look at the freaking claws on that thing. I see crayfish back home, but this is a proper river monster right here. They call them yabbies here in Australia, but that, I mean, it's hissing. It's hissing at me. This thing is probably one of the biggest arthropods I have ever laid eyes on. A giant river crayfish, and just look at the spines all over this thing. This animal is armed to the teeth. Powerful, crushing claws. I would not want to get a finger anywhere near that. And spines all over its carapace here. I can't even get a hand like here. I could, oh, 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 look at that. Absolute monster. This is what I love about the land down under. The creatures are just larger than life, insanely powerful, and just incredible feats of evolution right here. I have no idea what species this is. I'm gonna try and get an ID on it, but we just wanted to stop for a second and take a look at a monster crayfish while we're out looking for monster spiders. That is just unreal. The Australian nightlife is definitely something. Only fitting that on a search for a giant spider, we see a host of other nocturnal oddities. Mildly venomous snakes patrol the trees while lightning fast centipedes hunt over the ground. The veil of darkness hides some truly shocking creatures. As we hike deeper, we see some of the stranger residents of this secret world. And somewhere out here is our giant spider. The huntsman spiders belong to the family Sporacidae and are found worldwide, especially in the tropics. I've worked with these spiders before, in the jungles of Ecuador, in the deserts of Arizona. In the western hemisphere, huntsmen don't get nearly as big as their old world counterparts, mostly due to being outcompeted by the larger wandering spiders and fishing spiders. In Australia though, the huntsmen are able to become the giants they are because they are among the top invertebrate predators of the bushlands. While centipedes hunt along the leaf litter, these spiders dominate the trees. This habitat is perfect for them. Their mottled color gives them impeccable camouflage as they wait in ambush after dark, and their flat body plan and thin legs help them to fold up into surprisingly small crevices during the day. Any fold in the bark could be harboring a giant spider. And in man-made structures, cracks and gaps are exactly how these monstrous arachnids find their way into people's houses. As we got deeper into the woods, we expected to see one of these spiders out in a tree somewhere, but my buddy Jack spotted legs poking out from a gap along the large pipe. We've got a giant spider, and it didn't take long at all. That is a monster frickin' spider right there. Look at that thing. I mean, I knew the Australian huntsmen were big. I wasn't quite expecting this. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Honestly, for the size of this spider, he's surprisingly light. His feet are super, super grippy. That is insane. What I have right here is the giant banded huntsman, one of the most iconic spiders of southeastern Australia. And we think of like the deadly Sydney funnel webs and stuff, but Australia is also known for giant spiders. And I don't know. I get a lot of comments. That's not a big spider. Come to Australia. Well, I'm in Australia. And look at that spider. Satisfied now? <laughs> These things are freaking awesome. I absolutely love working with giant spiders because a lot of times their bark is a lot worse than their bite. As you can see right here, this guy's chilling right on my hand. Super, super docile spider. He was freaking the heck out when we got him. But I mean, case in point right here, this is a freshly caught wild spider and that's what his temperament is. I can actually see how they're able to like get inside people's houses and stuff with how big they are. We were scanning this whole pipeline for hours when the sun was going down, not seeing anything. And it's crazy that the tiny little cracks that these huntsmen can actually fit in. And it's actually where their appearance kind of comes into play. If you look from, the, from this angle, it looks like a tarantula. It looks massive, giant. You'd expect it to have a weight to it. 
but they're actually a really lightweight spider. If you look at the side, they're super skinny. And those really bent, angled legs fold up super tight. So during the daytime, they're fitting in like crevices and bark and stuff. Typically they're hunting on trees, coming out after dark to basically just sit and wait as ambush hunters. And you can see lining his entire body, all these hairs. You can see I, I touched the hair, he immediately reaches out to see what touched him. They are super, super sensitive. If you sit on a tree, what it'll do is have those long legs splayed out. That's why they look so big too, is that leg span is just massive. The actual spider is really not that much bigger than like a wolf spider or something. But those legs just get so freaking long that they can actually cover a lot of surface area. And with those long hairs, it almost works sort of like their version of a web. You know, where we see like orb weavers and things, they have those large circular webs that cover a huge expanse of like an opening in vegetation. These guys are sitting flat on the bark of trees, spread out, waiting for little insects and stuff to brush against one of these hairs. And you saw the speed of this thing when we were catching it. The huntsmen are among the fastest spiders in the world. And actually, because of their size and speed, I bet you one of these guys could probably clock among the fastest recorded speeds of any spider. You can bet a little insect or something brushes against one of those hairs. This guy is on it in a fraction of a second. You can see, big spider, it does have pretty big fangs. It can sink those deep into the exoskeleton of just about anything, ending its life in minutes. These guys are no joke when it comes to hunting. It's right in the name, right? Huntsman spider. They're really, really freaking awesome creatures. Look at the way it moves around. Just like wolf spiders and fishing spiders, they're fairly intelligent. And that comes with that hunting in three dimensions kind of lifestyle. These guys need great vision, insane intelligence for an arachnid to be able to navigate that kind of a world. And as you can see, they're actually a spider that you can kind of reason with. You know, he's, he, he gets startled with the breeze. If I say certain letter sounds that create more air and that brushes those hairs that he's got, that can startle him too. But you can see freshly caught wild spider just sitting right in my hand, totally, totally chill. They are fast, they are freaky looking, and they are massive, but they're gentle giants. Nothing more than simple creatures just trying to make their way in the universe. Not often that I can find a spider with a leg span almost the size of my hand. That is impressive. There's nothing quite like getting up close and personal with huntsmen here in Australia. These giant spiders truly are real life ghosts. Despite their size, they can disappear in the blink of an eye as if they were never there. Between their massive leg span, their unrivaled speed, an uncanny ability to fold up into the tightest crevices, the Huntsman spiders have pushed spider biology to the limit to conquer the Australian continent and survive on our weird planet. With these amazing arachnids, there really is more than meets the eye. As we push deeper into Australian wilderness, more strange creatures are lurking, including some of the most venomous spiders on Earth. We'll tackle them in due time. But if you want to see another spider that pushes the limits of size, check out this video right here, where I went after the smallest jumping spider in the world. Smaller than a grain of sand, these spiders experience life in ways we can barely imagine. I hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.